guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi and welcome to my first video from Greece. I'm so excited about this and today we are in Santorini and when you think about a hotel in Santorini I'm pretty sure that you imagine one of these hotels which also have their pool which is overlooking the sea and it's so beautiful and to be honest this is also how I imagined my stay in here. However, when I checked the prices, it turned out that one of these cost around $1,000 per night, so I was like, no, 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 on this channel we are on a budget. That's why I found this hotel which is just $100 per night, and to be honest with you, it's one of the cheapest options, unless you want to go to a dormitory. I want to show you what can you get for $100 in Santorini table outside you can sit in here and have like a nice breakfast or something and guys are you ready yes we are Ta -da! first you have this area in here where you can do your makeup i just have to say about the chairs what about the chairs that they are either old or that they are not super clean so i Ooh. i don't love that like that you can the kettle yeah you have a kettle here we have this nice painting, which I mean, obviously it's on oh, okay. and you can see that it's actually handmade. It's not like a printed one, so For sure. I quite like this. The one over here, it's volcanic stones from Santorini. I quite like the fact that they support local artists. Basically, we go to single beds because why? I kind of got confused when I was booking it, and I booked only for one person. So at the moment, this is the room that they had available. But I think it's fine. Let's see how comfy it is. How is it? Pretty good. Uh, you're not even on the pillow. And something which I really enjoy is the fact that we have two pillows in Multiple here. pillows. Yes, we usually see the wall. But it's okay because if you stay still, you can actually hear the birds. Which is quite enjoyable. Wow. Something which I really enjoy about this room is that it might be cheap and small, but at the same time the materials are quite expensive. Like this is actual marble and this is wood, so it doesn't really give you instantly like this cheap look. So I think it's quite nice. And also the floor is marble as well. Yeah, that's the water that we bought, but like... Uh, how much did you spend for like, you know, half a liter of like water on the flight? Oh my god, you guys, you don't know the water at Ryanair flight is 3 euros. 3 euros for the small one, can you well, believe that? Well, we got that? this one, the big one, for 1 for euro. For 1 euro. Oh wow. And it's like from the hotel, so usually here it's more expensive. Oh, also, we got air conditioning. This is the wardrobe, I think I would rather not... Oh, sure, sure. Oh. Because we literally like squeezed in all our stuff in there so big plus it has an iron let me take you to the little bathroom it's already a mess because i took a shower right? yeah we both took showers so it was actually clean. that's why it was half decent a, a normal shower like and nothing. a toilet and a toilet they're both very clean but like it's not too big as you can see because this is literally my whole body. When I book a like, cheaper hotel than the average for the place where I'm going, the most important thing for me is to make sure that it's clean and it has like the basic comfort. And this place totally takes all of them, so I'm quite happy. And let me show you a little bit more of the common areas like the garden and the small swimming pool. I couldn't actually record it because there were people over there and I didn't want to ruin all their privacy but this is how it looks of course these are the photos from the hotel so they look slightly better than what it actually is is and there was also a small jacuzzi which honestly was the best thing ever because it was slightly smaller and it could be used basically just from one person which actually made it private and we actually stayed in the city of Fira, which is the capital of the island of Santorini. And in this area, you can find the most shops, restaurants, nightclubs, and just more bars. And maybe you cannot notice it at the moment because uh, there aren't as many tourists as usual, but I would still really suggest you staying in this area because it's pretty close to Oya, which actually is pronounced Ya, yeah, and two other cities such as uh, Piero Stefani and uh, Imerovigi. We 
just came back from Oya and it's our first day in here and I see that they have made up the bed and they have put everything together so this means that they actually clean the rooms every day and yeah I'm quite happy and this is what can you get with a hundred dollars a night in Santorini did you guys enjoy this video and let me know would you stay in this hotel love you all bye and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Greece